Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks with Black Nike. And today I've got to re re to replace, wow, hard to speak there, from my own uh, database. It's uh, both with the uh, British Tier 8 uh, turret tank destroyer, the Carrier. Not completely up to the full name there, but the Carrier uh, or Charioteer, how, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, tier 8 tank destroyer, it has a turret, like I said, a 105mm uh, gun that shoots APCR, it's actually a tier 10 gun. It doesn't fire too fast, and it's not really that accurate, but it does uh, let me do uh, incredible stuff. And in this first replay, the first enemy you're in, we're going to encounter is going to be surprised. And uh, not just because I get to hit him instantly for a high damage roll. A little spoiler there, but you'll see what happens when we get there. And well, this is on the uh, swamp map. Which, well, I already also know this map from when it was uh, campy campy and weighty weighty. And you could lock, lock down two ways with one tank by just standing in the correct location and well at a certain point they changed it a little bit of a uh, lag spike there and there we have him that's a hit he hits me in the track but two a amx cdc's just come past me a skoda t25 uh, runs up and the one i'm ro uh, platooned up rocket soldier also runs past me but he doesn't get a hit in and well, I'll have to finish him off now. Bit of a luck streak there that I got him to hit him. And instead of moving forward, I'm turning around here. Because well, this tank doesn't have any armor and it's mobility. You can go a maximum of 51 kilometers per hour. They call things like this glass cannons. High alpha, low armor. And oops, I didn't want to go down yet. There's kind of a lot of enemies, and now I can't hit him. So I keep juggling back and forth a little bit here. Rocket soldier moving past, if I'm correct. Bulldog can't be hit, and then the OI got spotted. And, well, OI, tier 6. I've got over 250 millimeters of penetration. A little bit more, if I'm correct. And, well, I can penetrate an OI without problems. And, well, we are quite up ahead at this point. Super Pershing. I'm not aimed here, and I know that aiming takes a lot of time. Three seconds. Oh, no, five seconds, actually, was what it said. It says that this gun has a 2.6 second aim time. Well, it doesn't. Oh yeah, after you turn the turret, it has a 2.6 second aim, aim time. But you're also pretty fast, so you can double that time. And the T28 there, I do have a shot, but then again, I wasn't fully aimed yet, so... Right after firing, this gun might have a 2.6 second aim time. Although, then again, a 2.6 second aim time after firing doesn't mean that's much anymore you can just keep firing fully aimed after you reload it if you didn't move and if you turned your turret you just have to aim a bit longer than normal but yeah oh there's a super person again he had hit behind the building he should have stayed behind the building actually because now I got, uh, I've gotten side shots on him rocket soldier flanked him and there's uh, not a T-54 here, right in front of me who was uh, shooting him too. He tracked him right before I killed it. So a little bit of assistance damage to him too. Where Rocket Soldier got the spotting damage eventually. I guess. And this game is far from over. The enemy actually pulled the scores back a bit. It's now 8-8. Eight, eight. So we're equal now. Oh! Never mind, 9 to 8. We've gotten a kill more, but our RT got killed, so it's 9 to 9 again. And I'm looking here, Oni should be there somewhere. And, well, he's not where you expect him to be. 
And he spotted. There he is. I instantly get a penetrating hit on him. 411 damage. The average damage of the APCR on this gun is 400 damage. So pretty OP if you uh, if you ask me. And yeah, that's the Oni down. 10 to 9. Oh, that shot missed. I didn't fully aim there again. This gun does punish easily when you uh, don't stop to aim. And then again, even when you're aimed, it punishes you. Because then it hits exactly where you aim and that's not a good location. I was hoping the shot there would go a little bit high. But mostly the shots go low. And I got hit by the Cromwell with APCR. I don't know why he shot APCR at me. It's not actually needed to shoot APCR at this thing. With about 20 millimeters of armor. Just about anywhere. And that Cromwell, uh, I can't hit it, so... Let's sit there. Juggle with the uh, T-44 in the cap. He did get a reset the shot off. And this here is... Oh, again, that shot went high. And I was fully aimed. Shots like that happen a lot with this tank. Now I tracked him. And he actually is able to spot me now, because he's right behind that bush. And he's going to show me I'm spotted. He just turned his turret towards me. And yeah, I was spotted. I was still spotted there. I bounce him. Hit the uh, upper plate there, so that's uh, quite heavily armored. And he's uh, trying to get behind the building, but I'm not giving him the chance to get behind the building. Cromwell shot the Skoda T25 down, so that means that... Our AMX CDC has to uh, work over the enemy Cromwell on the other side. Those two Cromwells are quite a pesky in uh, pain in the ass. Then again, I'm waiting for that T34 uh, to show up. And there he is. He, sh uh, he spotted me instantly. He knows the AMX CDC is behind him with too much HP. And he couldn't kill me. He could kill me in one shot. But he didn't, and that was my last APCR round. I'm now down to 10 hash rounds, but the game is over. Giving me 50,000 credits and 1600 experience. 1100 base experience, a mastery badge first class. So a good game in this tank isn't enough to get a ace tanker. I didn't even get the first spot. The uh, AMX CDC that's died actually... Uh, gotten the first spot. I guess he's gotten a lot of spotting damage in. And yeah. 20 shots fired, 17 hit, 17 penetrated. Ah, oh, that couldn't be right. I actually penetrated 16 shots. One of those uh, 17 shots went into the front of that KV4. And this second game. Again, I'm not going to be the top player in this game experience earned. That's the super pershing. I don't know why. But I guess he had a good game. And he is also a tier 8. In a tier 9 game. But my gun is... Uh, I, I have a tier 10 gun. And the enemy Ferdinand also has a tier 10 gun. He just says so. But uh, yeah. See, Ferdinand says got my new gun. Just uh, poke there by the uh, SU, and uh, that's that's uh, Centurion 71. We're not going to see much of him. I guess he's not going to do anything that uh, that way anyway. So yeah, that T49 though is ballsy. He's running fro uh, forwards ASAP. Seriously. He he couldn't go, uh, get a better location that fast anyway. And the start of this game, I think I'm going to shoot 15 times. And only hit about 4 times. 4 or 5 times. So I waste a lot of my shells. A third of my shells won't do anything in this game. Almost half my shells won't do anything. And still I get uh, second place in experience earned. Again, I'm platooned up here with Rocket Soldier, who's again playing his T-44. He 
almost has a turret so he can almost uh, mount a better gun this shot though wow what a bad reaction and M103 is uh, standing just a little bit more in front and we've got a super Pershing and a Centurion 7-1 completely in the back I have no clue what they're doing there again didn't fully aim a shot went low I will see a lot of that my uh, platoon mate is on the hill there completely on the other side of the map having a stroke of bad luck as well not able to do anything I'm taking a lot of these worthless shots and when I do get a good shot that was actually a pretty good shot but again the shot went low happens a lot I don't know why again this shot too just watch this again low if I would have hit it I would have gotten the kill because there were two shots like uh, 200 damage or so and the average damage of my gun is 400 damage and then finally I get to hit shot took me about uh, 8 shots or so I guess at least I fired too much and did too little in this whole game so far but the M103 is keeping the scores up at this point he's got the only two kills of the team actually that's uh, T44 and a type 64 and a second shot that hits finally I'm taking a bit more time to aim at that one because he's not going to pull back that fast and my platoon mate uh, he ran down from the hill he knew he couldn't do anything there again a bad shot I just felt like I had to try those sh uh, some of those shots because well if you get to hit them you get to do some damage on the enemy that's uh, valuable in this game on this map oh. Borsik overextending himself he doesn't have the armor to get to be in that position again I don't know where that shot went but it completely missed and another shot that went low straight into the ground while I almost had my whole aiming circle on him there's that Borsig again he hasn't fired yet so finishing him off make sure he can't fire another shot this shot though so much bad luck there you could call it bad aiming again but I was aiming pretty good oh I got a hit there Super Pershing just moved right before he fired so his uh, aim was uh, completely screwed up and again my shot my shots at this point were horrific but almost down to uh, my hash shells though Ferdinand got spotted T49 says like yeah can you uh, shoot that Ferdinand please but uh, no at this point I can't shoot that Ferdinand I can't see him and first let's take care of that super Pershing finally I hit it and then the act uh, shows up and that's one shot straight through his upper bla plate Get, let's get behind this building he's almost within spotting range so and another shot straight through his upper plate and now I'm down to my hash rounds and this shot though how it penetrated I don't know but that's just be uh, just above its average in damage and he disappears and I shouldn't have taken that shot but I guess it hit its upper plate again and only 210 millimeters of penetration are going to pen his upper plate and he gets taken out before I can do anything there's a WZ131 again uh, when the super Persian got taken out he was like yeah I'll have to take up that spotting position and we still have the Centurion and the uh, super Persian standing there in the back 
I know at this point I have more spotting range than the Super Pershing had. The spotting of the uh, Yak Tiger was, I think, my work. But I could be wrong, the M103 couldn't have, could have spotted him too, so... That's what might have happened. But, well... Oh, hold on. No. Just not yet. Saying, yeah, I can kill a WZ-131 if I get a shot here. If he gets spotted again. And I can't take any risk at this point, because... A weapon trigger of Panzer IV with a 128mm gun. A... Ferdinand with a 128mm gun. They all, both only have to hit me once and I'm dead. And there's still a tank destroyer not spotted, although it's only a tier 7. He has an average of 240 uh, damage. And that's uh, always going to penetrate my tank. If it doesn't, oh, a bit late on the reaction here, and a bad shot. I actually should have waited here a little bit. Until he moved back a bit more. But I guess I just hit the uh, rocks on the other side there. And there's a little rock out there that you can hit when shooting from this side, when they are hiding there. Also, when you're shooting from the hill, you can hit it. And he gets taken out by the Centurion. So we do see something of him, although not much. And there's that weapon trigger again. That Super Pershing actually moved up. And this is one hell of a... L oh, that one actually was a low roll. But this Hashman. It just keeps on doing things like that. Or that. That's a kill. And that's a T25-2. Actually isn't a bad player. Or too bad a player. He does know that if he stays still now... He can spot the Super Pershing a lot sooner than he gets spotted. My platoon mate in T-44 is still alive. And well, I'm down to 4 rounds of hash here. And he knows it, but there's still a Ferdinand on full hit points and a Leuwe on full hit points. And if I would have hit a lot more shots, I would have done a lot more damage of course. He got hit from the uh, left side there. T-44. Uh, Rocket Soldier actually managed to hit him. And now we're going to move forward. And I'm going to make a bit of a huge mistake. Which cost me about 1000 damage I guess. Staying right here. Fernand is right there. And... Right after this shot... Although a very high damage roll, I now should have moved forward at full speed and tried to flank him. Because I'm not going to pen his front that easily with hash. It's 210mm and he's angled and with the accuracy my gun gave me this game, I should have gotten closer. So I'm now out of ammo. I'm moving forward, uh, seeing if I can get some uh, spotting on him. Because the Super Pershing isn't spotting him and the AMX 12T isn't spotting him either. Super Pershing actually is moving back. So, right here. And the IS kills him right before I spotted him. Too bad for me, but yeah, that's the match. It was very costly for me. Another 1500 experience, 1000 base experience, a second class mastery badge. Ace tanker. I can't seem to get an ace tanker on this tank, but then again, if I would have hit a lot more shops, it would have been an ace tanker. Hit a lot of tanks, but then again, if you take a look at the next stats. Oh wow. Didn't get first place, Super Pershing actually managed to get the first place, I don't know why. He was hiding uh, way out there in the back of the map with the uh, Centurion 7-1, who is third last. But he actually moved forward at a certain point and I guess he blocked kind of uh, quite a lot of shots then. Rocket Soldier not doing too much, he didn't have a very good game there. And as you can see only 17 out of the 30 shots hit and only 13 of those penetrated. Although the last two shots I shouldn't have taken and just moved forward to 
shoot that Ferdinand in the side and take another 500 damage shot and yeah 30,000 damage loss so I hope you guys enjoyed this game and I'll see everyone next time